Conrad. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? I'm doing great. I had so much fun watching Adam's Family 2. Um, I love how Wednesday kind of takes the spotlight this time around. Like maybe last film, Pugsley was going through his inner emotional journey with the mazurka. And now we have Wednesday kind of dealing with her place in the family. Can you talk about um, how her, her existential crisis maybe differs from his? Uh, well, I think she's older. She's going through her teenage years and he's, he was in the first movie, he was like eight. <laughs> and uh, he had family pressure building on him and how he was going to uh, prove to his dad that, uh, you know, he was a true Adams. And Wednesday is a teenager in this one. She's 13. And she's actually saying, do I really want to be Adams anymore? You know, it's just like <laughs> being an Adams is kind of lame. <laughs> Not lame. It's, it's the coolest thing in the world. But, uh, you know, most teenagers, when they're trying to find themselves and, you know, want to be an individual rather than part of a group, you know, they separate themselves to do that. And, it, you know, sometimes it comes off as cold and brooding, but uh, I think that that's where Wednesday feels most comfortable. I love that. Um, speaking of, you know, like the Adams family, <laughs> I love how, how important being a family and that family unit is to the story. Of course, it's always about the members bonds with each other and what it really means to be a community. So for you, what is the most important thing about being an Adams family member? What defines the family? Embracing who you are, not worrying about, you know, what other people think you should be, um, especially with this family. Uh, you know, they, 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 uh, they have their own tastes and their own way of doing things and their own unique likes and dislikes. And when that is taken out onto a road trip into the world, you know, they, they sometimes find how odd everyone else is, but that doesn't change who they are. And they also accept everyone else for who they are. And so they expect, you know, it, it doesn't always work out that way where people accept them as they are, but they don't fault these people for that. They just, they just say, well, that's the way you are. This is the way we are and we're proud of it. So I think to be an Adams family member, you embrace who you are and what, who your family is and what you grew up with and what you like, you know, it's while good. also finding your own individuality. I love that. And I also loved the road trip <laughs> and all the different places and how much fun uh, I got to have watching them stumble their way through it. Did, was there any location or, you know, a uh, moment that was most fun for you guys to approach? I thought the biker bar was the funnest. <laughs> That was my that was my favorite scene to work. Um, I just I I knew I was going to have a lot of fun, you know, in the biker bar. Uh, you know, Death Valley. That's kind of where that's the happiest place on earth to the Adams family. So, uh, so I think that that was probably one of the funnest uh, locations. Um, but they're all they all have their own. You know, Niagara Falls was fun. Uh, Sleepy Hollow was fun. You know, they're they're all. They're all very interesting. There were some that weren't in there that I would have loved to have explored a little more. Oh. We were going to take them to Vegas. I think at one point uh, that would have been fun. Um, I can't remember. Uh, oh, they went to Alaska at one point. These, oh are, these are places we had to cut out of the film, but maybe in a future one. Yes, exactly. I was going to say, save it for the next one. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Uh, it was so much fun to watch. I can't wait for everyone to, to enjoy it with me. Excellent. Thank you so much.